What is up YouTube? How are we doing? How are we doing guys? It's been it's been a hot minute, literally, like um, since I done my interview. I don't know if you saw that. Um, for those of you who don't know, I did the interview on a Well I was gonna about to tell you that and now there's too much noise in the other room. Because people are making noise when I said be quiet. Like you guys you don't understand how annoying this is. As a YouTuber, when you're at home, living with other people, your family, um, they're great at times. But um, when you're trying to make a video and they're making bare noise in the kitchen, it's proper annoying. Oh, I'm just gonna go and murder someone. Then I'll be back and we can start episode three of Real Talk, the podcast, the Louise Twenty One podcast, and yeah. Yep, I'm just gonna go and commit a murder, then I'll be back. Alright guys, let's try this again. What is up? How you doing? Like I said, it's been a while. And before I got interrupted, I was about to talk about the interview that I was on. Uh, on In Conversation With, which is a series of interviews, kind of chats that um, a charity called the Muscle Help Foundation, the Muscle Help Foundation, I speak too fast, I'm aware of this. Anyway, it's a charity that um, has done a lot for me over the years, since 2012 I've been a part of them, in some capacity either as a beneficiary, um, you know, they, they provide experiences for disabled people such as myself, um, with my condition and similar conditions. Um, therefore, I feel like I owe them because like, they've done a lot for me. Um, I had a few work placements from them and uh, well, not from, uh, as a result of being part of, the, of some of their um, projects and schemes in the past to do with employability. Um, and I've worked for them myself uh, as like an intern kind of. So I owe them a lot and uh, I was grateful to be invited on this podcast. What podcast? Well, it's kind of an interview or a chat or something like that. But yeah, so I told all the family and everyone went crazy. Family in Italy watching it, putting comments on the video, you know. It was like, well done, all this. It's brilliant. Um, and I, I, I'll be honest, um, I'm humble normally, but I'm saying I deserve it, guys. I literally deserve it. And you all deserve praise. And, you know... Whatever you think of yourself, it doesn't really matter. Because it... Well, it does, but... Like, I came to realise that other people really appreciate what I do. And sometimes, especially in the past year, it's difficult to to know that you're appreciated for what you actually do and the work you put in. Um, because with some jobs, you never get any praise. You just to do that job, um, earn the money, put bread on the table, and that's it. Um, mine's a bit different. Um... And it made me think, you know, um, all the great things that were being said about me on this interview and discussions we were having, um, me and the CEO of the charity, uh, who's a good friend of mine, Michael, um, known him for many years. Um, so it was just a chat with a friend, really. And it was quite, na I felt it was quite natural at times. Um, there was a bit of uh, nerves involved because, like, my laptop... Like, in terms of doing a video call on there, it was terrible. Like, I couldn't use this laptop for that. The internet was crap. Um, just because our house is really bad signal. Because of the, the extension we had on the ground floor. However many years ago now. Affects all the internet somehow. Because there's extra R RSJs and stuff. In the ceiling. Anyway. Long story short, my internet in my house is crap. So, yeah. Anyway, we managed to do the video call and it was brilliant. It went well. My phone didn't die, and the connection was good. Um, that was the proper worry of the whole thing. I wasn't nervous about speaking or anything. Yeah, maybe trying to avoid swearing, uh, which I was warned about before. Because, um, yeah, I do swear on my channel, as you guys know. Having seen my last episode of Real Talk, or whatever this podcast is called now, I don't know. I, I don't want to get copyrighted for calling it Real Talk, because I feel like someone else has a podcast by the similar name, you know. All the good names are taken. Um, but yeah. 
so that was eye opening because it made me realise that you know there is value in what you do like you don't always feel it um, and how positive I can be and in, through the whole video um, setting an, an example to younger disabled kids um, around the world watching it in some ways you know I'm an example because I've been there and done that in terms of growing up with a disability you know um, and I've spat in the face of adversity kind of haven't we all in some way um, at some point uh, not well, I mean some more than others you know so I've spat in the face of adversity and the fact that a lot of the time sadly people will see someone like me and assume oh he can't really work in a normal work environment therefore he's unemployed and he's just getting money off the government but it's not like that at all um, I'm trying to make the world a better place every day through what I do on YouTube somehow through laughs um, banter or whatever it is or educating you somehow or uneducating somehow I don't know whatever it is I really do here um, and when I was defining what my channel is it was just me telling a story about my life and at, at some point it was like every day more recently it's been less often because there's less going on um, you know less adventures that I'm going on and stuff planning to get back to them soon just need the sun basically because um, yeah I mean winter's never easy for the vlog um, but this year the whole lockdown thing has been annoying of course but um, yeah in, I didn't want to talk about Covid the whole time and me me and Michael discussed it before like we're not going to talk about Covid too much you know because it's just on everyone's minds all the time so just you know have a laugh have a chat just be natural that's what I try to do and I'm good at speaking in front of cameras as you can see or somewhat good I don't know um, but yeah it went well I wasn't too stressed out once I got in it I was fine just worried about the internet failing on me it's the most annoying thing so after that what did I do I went out and bought a new laptop um, a Dell this time not a bloody HP like this annoying laptop that has actually served me well for the last four years because that was the early days on my channel when I had a Mac that I was given um, as part of my student loan when I went to uni um, that died when I first started YouTube like the first year 2017 we're talking about so then I make, made the quick choice to get this one just because I was daily vlogging at the time just had to be quick when Argos got this laptop and it's not done me wrong really ever since it's a bit dodgy a bit slow so I went out and bought a Dell now a, a Dell not a Dell the singer a Dell <laughs> play with words right there um, so yeah it can't go wrong with Dell Oh, Del Boy, as I want to nickname it. I don't know. I, I haven't given given this one a nickname. Apart from friggin' annoying. But yeah, I should probably get an actual desktop PC. I haven't had one in years. Got one down here. Sony something. Sony Vio, Jesus. Um, but I haven't really used a desktop in years. At home, anyway. Um, you know. I haven't spent a lot of money on the technology I use. Well, in terms of computers, no. But I spent a lot of money on other stuff for the channel. This light that uh, is illuminating my face right now. Uh, all the equipment, you know, the, the microphones, the webcams, the cameras. And the time that goes with it, because time is money. But I still enjoy it and got to get back in the swing of it. And a bit of it was lost along the way, I think. And this interview kind of reinvigorated my passion for the channel. And it's just... It's inspi it, inspiring inspirational to myself because you've got to inspire like who inspires you? yourself sometimes some well um sometimes sometimes I just think what oh, an idiot but um yeah my coffee has been grinded right now man's on the coffee again i'm drinking coffee again guys it is like legal cocaine um not to make a joke out of any, any addict but i i think i was a coffee addict and I'm slowly getting addicted again. Just gives you that buzz. And yeah. Let's just say when I was playing FIFA. I got better. After drinking a, a coffee. I don't know. It's just an Italian thing isn't it. Um, 
You may be surprised, but I don't like tea. Yes, I live in England, but I do not like tea. It's just glorified water. Or rain, whatever you call it. Um, but yeah. Interesting times. I'm just so grateful I was on it, and... Feel proud of myself, like... Proud that people are proud of me, I don't know if that makes sense. You know, because... I'm not the type to... to you know... There's a group chat with my whole family, I don't always chat a lot on there but when I do it's normally good news about something new I'm, I'm doing an interview or an article or a video regarding me um, that's highlighting my what I do and, and telling my story in some way and even if they can't understand it all because it's in English they still support me regardless even if they're not watching every single YouTube video I make because um, I think about like different people in different um, arts, if you like, different art. And you think of like, um, I was watching the Biggie Smalls documentary um, the other day on Netflix. Uh, Biggie Smalls, Notorious B.I.G. If you don't know, was a famous rapper who got killed in 97, got shot. Um, and had a famous beef with Tupac, another rapper at the time. And anyway, he, he, um, he never wanted his mum to listen to his rap music because of all the swearing and all the uh, my TV just went off okay um, but anyway he didn't want his mum to listen to the music um, because she didn't like swearing and all this um, but she still supported him in what he did and was proud that he wasn't on the streets hustling or dealing drugs or whatever it was he would have been doing if not singing and I think about that here like a lot of people that I know really well that don't necessarily watch every video and follow me intently, but like, they still support what I'm doing. And if you, if you like what you're doing, then that's great. Keep doing it, you know. That's what I've always said to other people. Um, I'm not a nine to five job kind of guy. Some people are because they've literally got responsibilities and got to put bread on the table. I understand if you've got to do that, but there comes a point where you've got to do what you love, you know. And credit to people who work the same job for thirty years, then retire. And spend the time with their family that they earn and deserve. Credit to that too. I'm not doing it. I'm on a different path. But there you go, you know. Each to his own. It's pretty simple really. But is it at the same time? You, it sounds easy but it's not. Like It sounds like I've got it figured out but I really haven't. And you think that every day you've got it figured out. Till the next day, bang, something new comes along. Um, good and bad in some ways. Like when I was first started on YouTube I thought I knew a fair bit about life but I didn't. Do I now? No, I know more. I'm a better version of me, yes. In some ways. Um maybe I've got a grey hair or two now, I don't know. At twenty seven getting the grey hair. One of my cousins has, so you know, at least I'm not going bald. Um nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that. But I know some people with bad hairlines, Harry Kane included. Jesus God. You wouldn't think I was older than him. It's weird. But there you go, that's life really. And this has been another episode of Real Talk. Uh, whether I'm finished or not, who knows. I don't even know how long I've been speaking for. Um, but yeah, I want to get back on the live streams because they've been lacking. I haven't, I've been slacking as well. Um, that rhymes. But yeah, I need to get back on the live streams. Whatever game it is, Fortnite, FIFA, whatever. I might do that now, actually, you know. I'm feeling like doing that. That's the kind of mood I'm in. But, yeah. I'm back on a coffee, so... Probably got more energy when I'm uh, live streaming now. Gonna be off my rocker. Literally. But, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next vlog. Maybe I'll be outdoors, we'll see. But it's been another episode of Real Talk. Um, whether that makes any sense, I don't know, as a title. I'm just speaking from the heart, really. And grateful to anyone who supported me along the way and is supporting me because you know people everyone say oh um, it's like the g easy song me myself and i but it's not it's other people around that make you who you are it's not just you you know I, that song's great don't get me wrong i love that song and you do face your own battles in your head every day but like there's people that are around you that are there supporting you hopefully for me anyway for a lot of people too but not for everyone, so, you know, it's, 
it's not easy but um here we are guys and i feel like i'd really deserve to be on that interview and any other articles i've been part of this year or videos other people have chosen to include me in um just be yourself guys really i haven't got to this stage um being someone else it's just being pure me uh, and real talk you know literally um but yeah thank you guys that is it for me today um i'm keeping these podcasts short and sweet you know i don't want to talk about too much about external things going on in the world but what i will say is like you know there is freedom of speech you know you got the right to say your opinion to a certain level and you know within reason within reason you know there's always a line you don't cross but i'm saying like people have their opinion and someone else is offended by the fact that you have a different opinion to them or they can screw off because that's not how you're supposed to live life really everyone's entitled to their opinion like i said within reason you know too much cancel culture today guys one tweet will get you banned for life and will lose you your job and everything um but yeah just be nice to people really don't judge before you look into what someone's really saying and where they're coming from that's it guys stay up stay humble as always that is it from louise 21 your host for another episode of uh, real talk peace Thank you.